Washoe often engaged in social conversations, such as, who's stupid? Susan's stupid. But that could be a matter of opinion. Who? Washoe. The answers were subjective, but Washoe always used the correct part of speech. In other words, her answers made sense. She enjoyed abstract ideas, such as jokes and concepts like funny, stupid, and smart. Who's smart? Smart Washoe. What was it like talking to Washoe in this way every day? Did it feel like real language? I have a child of my own, and, and talking to Washoe was very much like talking to a, uh, a human child on an elementary level of discourse. We played a lot of word games with Washoe, of course, uh, in an effort to expand her vocabulary as much as anything else. And in daily work with her, she, uh, she did a lot of interesting things, and language was one of them. Um, but every now and then, she would let us know that, that she really knew what was going on. She really had a concept of language and a concept of, of the power of the language. Like, for instance, in the, um, when we would have a new assistant who was in the process of learning sign language, Washoe would very often slow her sign language down, and the new assistants complained about how humiliating it was to be signed slowly to by a chimpanzee. Here, Washoe is alone. The sign for red is a finger on the lips. Red. 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 The boot she's wearing is red. That red. It's a characteristic of language acquisition in children that they'll talk to themselves when they're left alone for a time. That red. In, and Washoe puts herself in the hat. She's gradually preparing to go to sleep. In me. One aspect of learning a language is questions and questioning phrases. How is it done in Amslan? Well, there are a number of ways to ask questions. The most obvious one is whenever you use an interrogative word, such as who, 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 or what, what, then, of course, you know you, the person is asking a question. Whose is that? Mine, a possessive pronoun. What color? Red. What color? Red, a color adjective. And what is that? A shoe, a noun. Washo had at least one of these interrogatives that she used with us. It was interrogative who that had already started to appear during her training. We would make such statements as, I know who's coming, and Washo's reply would be, or I know who's in there. And that would elicit that same sort of a word game. Hoo, 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 hoo. Now, in the spoken language, particularly English, whenever we ask a question, the voice rises. Uh, I can say, uh, you look sick. Or I can say, are you sick? The voice rising makes a difference. Now, we, it's because it's a visual language, the face has to show this. So that I can say, you look sick. Or I can say, are you sick? All time to eat. But if I want to ask a question, is it time to eat? My facial expression, plus the fact I'm holding it there a little bit longer. Washoe showed this questioning inflection very clearly. Time eat? Time eat? Yes, says Susan, and Washoe declares time eat. Time eat. Very different. And Susan gets a kiss. But first, you have to go on the potty chair. And almost at once, Washoe signs can't, can't. You, me, time eat, me? Well, says Susan, what do you think? You, Susan, time eat? 
time to eat? Okay, I think it's time to eat. And Washoe hoots with joy at the prospect. Why shouldn't the other apes learn sign language themselves? The first time I saw it, she said, me, that, to the gorilla on the television screen that was holding a baby. Very definitely pointing to the baby in the picture. Also, the way that she treats her gorilla dolls, not her human dolls, not her troll dolls, not any other doll, but her gorilla dolls, she takes their hands and makes them sign things. She teaches her baby eat, drink, and more. The first three signs she was taught as a baby. You love. Drink? Where does the baby drink? Drink. The baby signed. She's got him trying to mouth. Drink mouth. She's had the baby answer. The baby said, drink mouth. Most important, a baby would make Coco happy. And what? we want to see is cultural transmission that's the, the term for it is that she would actually teach her offspring in the way that we taught her throughout the decades coco's teachers have used both sign language and spoken english One more, and then you turn it off, okay? Good. Coco has truly made sign language her own by inventing or creating totally new signs. We say things in English, and if we don't give her a sign for it, she has no way of telling us that that's what she wants. Browse is like the lettuce and greens that we give her between meals. And we didn't have a sign for it. And Coco started doing this. And at first people didn't know what it was. And eventually it became clear that she was asking for brows and it's at the eyebrow. So she was using the sound to come up with a sign, brows. Yeah, this side too. She'll create a word if there isn't one. Eye hat for a mask. Uh, finger bracelet instead of ring. It was an inspired guess by two comparative psychologists, Trixie and Alan Gardner, that started the whole business going. The endless hours, months, and years of effort on their part, and on the part of their assistants, has resulted in Washoe beginning to use the full flower of language. Washo is a very special chimpanzee. Uh, she's, she's attacked something that, that has been referred to as the last bastion of human uniqueness, uh, and that man is the only animal who has language. She's learned to acquire signs, and then to transfer these to novel objects. She also uh, combines these, and the other chimps here spontaneously combine signs in their vocabulary to describe new situations, uh, uh, and also to uh, rearrange these signs into uh, completely novel utterances that we've never, we've never heard before or they haven't seen. For example, I call ducks ducks. Warshaw calls them water birds. I, uh, I've never signed this. Obviously, she put this together. Uh, Lucy uh, called a water, a watermelon a, uh, uh, a candy drink or a fruit drink. Uh, this, is, this is something she put together. In other words, they have their own concepts. All we're really doing with sign languages is, is giving them a form of communication that we can understand and they map it on their, on their conceptual uh, areas. Uh, we're doing very little other than, other than giving them the words and they do the rest. 